my th- <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're live. Oh. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Sprints tonight. It's day one of Bows and Books. I'm so excited. I have some Yay. lovely ladies with me to be co-hosts. Um, I think I'll just have everybody go around and introduce themselves. Tell us what you're reading tonight. We'll start with Jordan, Gwen, Jesse, Keisha, and then me. Sounds good. I'm Jordan. My channel is Sorry Booked Solid. I am currently reading Cleat Cute by Meryl Wilsner. It's got bows on their shoelaces. So it counts. It's a <laughs> sapphic romance about two soccer players. I'm about a quarter of the way into it. So far, it's fine. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Gwen. My channel is Gwendolyn Kensinger. Tonight, I'm going to be starting Picking Daisies on Sundays. I'm actually going to be buddy reading this with Keisha. Um, earlier today, I started, what is it called? The Catch by Amy Leah, which is the third book in the Influencer series. I only read like the first couple of chapters. I was kind of busy today, so I didn't get that much time to read. But since Keisha works a real job, nine to five, I was like, I'll save this and we'll start it together on sprints. So that's what we're going to be doing. Yay. Cute. I think I was next. I didn't follow instructions, but hello. My name is Jesse. Um, my channel is Reading with Jess. Um, oh, yeah. What am I reading? Sorry. Uh, of course, it's the one on the very bottom. So I'm going to be reading Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. Um, I'm actually going to be reading it on my Kindle because this paper is awful. <laughs> wow. um, it's very thin. I'm not really digging it. So I'm going to be reading on my Kindle. But here's what the cover looks like in full color. So Awesome. Well, hello, my name is Keisha and I'm from the channel A Book Like You. And like Gwen said, we are buddy reading Picking Daisies on Sundays. I'm so excited and I just feel like it really fits like it's so pink and cute and it just fits the readathon. So hopefully it's a good one. I've heard good things. So really excited about that. Nice. Everyone's reading such good books. Well, I guess, Jordan, you're not. Yours is just okay so far. But <laughs> it's a cute we'll premise, see. though. And I like the cover. Yeah. I yeah, love it's a super books. cute cover. Mm -hmm. um, I was also maybe going to be reading Picking Daisies on Sundays, and I feel like so many people are reading it for the readathon because, like, the aesthetic for the cover is, like, perfect. Mm -hmm. But it didn't have an audiobook anywhere that I could find, so I was yeah. like, eh, I'll just pick it up because it's really Yeah, that's why this is, like, my only novel for the weekend because, like, other than yeah. that, I've got the graphic novel because I just, I'm uh -huh. like, I have two days to get through this with no audio. Yeah, it's indie published, yeah. so there's no audiobook. Okay, that makes sense then. I mean, good for them. Like, I feel like it's getting a lot of hype and the mm -hmm. cover is so cute. Like, I hope that if it does get traditionally published, they don't change the cover because it's yeah. just too cute. Yeah. Well, um, I'm Summer uh, from the channel Seasons Readings. And tonight I was going to read Rainbow. It's a little graphic novel. It's by Sunny and Gloomy. I don't know who they are, but it's really cute. And the cover is like perfect. Like it has so many like little bows and stuff. And the word bow is in the title. But then Jesse on like our group chat shared something from Spotify that said like it's National Poet Day. And it was like from Taylor Swift saying like the tortured poets department. So I'm like, okay, well, I have a poetry book on my TBR. So I should probably like read poetry tonight. So I feel like I'm going to switch from Rainbow to this one. Um, this one is What Kind of Woman by Kate Bear. And I really love Kate Bear's poetry. It's usually like really themed around like feminism and motherhood and stuff like that. So I'm excited to read it tonight. Nice. It looks like yeah. a quick one. Yeah, that's, I mean, I already love the poetry, but I'm like, it'll be perfect because it's going to be short. <laughs> we'll always also love the backdrop, Summer. Thank you. Let's talk about it. Have. I know. I love it. Love it. Um, love I mean, it. it could use a headboard with some eyeballs, but other than that, uh, yeah, it's I was just perfect. gonna say the only thing no. is a headboard. Love but... the mug wall, and I'm here for it. <laughs> I know. I love the mug wall, and so it's there's like another good. rack too. There's like three layers of these. Um, so there's 15 mugs on the wall, and then I still have this entire cart behind me full of mugs. So I have a problem, but. <laughs> But yeah, this is my new apartment. I'm obsessed with it. My cutie little rug over here. There's a litter box in the background. So hopefully we don't really look at that too much during this break. But, <laughs> um, also, Travis is going to get home from work probably like any time. So if you see him walk by or if you hear him, that's what's going on. So 
Um, yeah, let's get into some comments. Hi. Also, everybody, let us know. I forgot to put up my banner. What are you reading tonight? <laughs> Tell us in the comments. All right. Hello. Hi. All the fun hellos. Hi, Lindsay. Reading Homefront for the Readathon during during the daytime. The other two I finished early, but tonight I'll be reading Icebreaker. Nice. Jesse, you read Icebreaker, right? And you really liked it. Yep. I gave it four stars. I feel like it's one of those okay. things where I have to like be in the mood for a spicy book, but yeah. But if you'd love spice, I know you do. <laughs> Kate, I tried reading it though, and I did not like it. Like the writing oh. style and like I usually I don't know why, but I'm having a hard time reading like college age settings in books lately. Oh, yeah. So I think that might have been part of it. But then I also like recently read a college setting book and loved it. So I don't know if it was just that book, but yeah. But yeah. I've heard icebreakers very spicy, so that's a fun time. <laughs> I find with college age books, they either lean more adult or more YA. Yeah. It doesn't feel I've I don't there's very few like college novels that actually feel like college. Mm -hmm. It always tends to lean one way or the other. And if it leans YA, I don't like it. And if it leans more adult, I do like it. So that might be mm -hmm. the same thing with you. Is it that this definitely knowledge? sounds like me? So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so I, I really adult. didn't know too much about it. I had just heard people it. talking about it, mm -hmm. you know, how you know about the basic story. And then I started reading it today and I was like, cool. I mean, fingers <laughs> crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> like, I love that for me. <laughs> no, I feel like you guys are gonna love it, and then I'm gonna read it, and I'm gonna love it. Even if even though it's college age. Kayla's here. Jesse's here. <laughs> Let the bow army rise. <laughs> all the bows. Hi. The bows. I love all the bows. Uh, finishing up a movie and then hoping to read Laura Olympus Volume 5. Very nice. I know that Gwen has read some Laura Olympus. Has anybody else read it? You have? I think I read the first one yeah we read the first graphic one. last year i didn't like okay. it i read the first one too and i like after i finished it i was like oh i really liked that now the more that i think about it i'm like i just was kind of like depressed and confused for most of it so <laughs> I, don't know if yeah. I, liked it. <laughs> I feel like i needed like a crash course on like greek mythology yes, before that was my thing i feel like if i had just finished either a high school class or a college class and then i read the mm -hmm. book i would have been like in it because they expect you to know who all of these people are yeah. and at one time maybe i did but now is not that time <laughs> so I, now, needed, and I needed they don't a really gwen, introduce the characters yeah i needed a gwen character list before jumping right. into it you mm -hmm. know but but gwen yeah. was not making that character list because she does not know <laughs> yeah because for Let's Get Graphic last year, I checked out all three volumes at my library. And I was like, well, I didn't like the first one. So I'm not going to read the other two. So, but. yeah, I've like thought about buying the next ones. And I'm just like, you know, what? I feel like maybe I'll get them from the library and maybe give them more of a try. But the art is beautiful, though. Yeah. So beautiful. It's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. The vibrant Crazy. colors. I love the art. I feel like if you mm -hmm. are into that, then you'll love it. But if you're mm -hmm. clueless like me, you're going to struggle. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Absolutely. Exact same. <laughs> All right. Reading The Nightingale tonight. I've heard nothing but good things about that one. I've heard it's so good. I feel like you'll probably need tissues, though. That's I've, I feel like with all of her books, it's like going to make you cry. All right. Hi, ladies. I'm currently reading The Invocations by Crystal Sutherland. 50% through and enjoying it. Nice. I'm so ready for you and Keisha to buddy read, Gwen. You're going to have polar opposite views. <laughs> and as always, I love it. Oh, my gosh. We've had some, like, cross-country cross Christmas. Christmas. Perfect example. We both rated it five stars. Yep. 
So well, it's not I mean, open, but we've done it. By opposite tastes or opposite polar opinions, does she mean a five star and a four star? Because that's how I felt <laughs> with the Sarah Adams <laughs> book. I was like, dude, I gave it a four. But I just didn't understand. Okay. Like, I, I don't know really really why. <laughs> Like no, dude, I'm ready for came the... after a reviewer for a four star. Yeah, like, what the hell? <gasps> it's not that bad. Ew, that happened. <laughs> oh, uh, that gives me the ick. I do not like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm all for the the bickering between you two. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of hope that you guys have differing opinions. I feel like I could watch them bicker it. with like popcorn the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys are both so like, passionate that it's just like. No time. <laughs> Not to uh, incite it even more, but the next book I'll be reading after Cleat Cute, I could just start it right away anyway, is Bunny, <gasps> which I know <laughs> there's some uh, so differing opinions about the book up in here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so excited for you to read that because I feel like if you hate it or if you love it, you're going to explain it and I'll be like, yeah. That makes sense. Do you like weird books? <laughs> what? Do you like weird books? As a general statement, no. Okay. Or like <laughs> books that make you think? Books that make me think, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, this is I an in-person book club book for this month oh. as well, which is kind of why I'm reading it. I had pretty much written it off as a book I didn't really want to read. I've seen a bit about it. I don't think I know yeah. like main spoilers, but I know that like what's going on is not really what's going on. So... My radar will be up, so we'll see. Okay, but, but this is me. like a perfect example. What did you write that book again, Keisha? A five. But I, that, I don't it, know that I would wait, do that. I know, but at the time, you rated it a five. I rated it a one. But tell me why I literally have Keisha's copy of that book on my bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> she got rid of it. She rated well, it a five I, and gave it to me. I mean, there are some five stars that you appreciated, but then you know you're not going to read again. And that was just one of them. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. But it is a very clever book. So I'm so I'm interested to hear your thoughts. I'm confused. I'm confused as to why you got rid of it, Keisha. And I'm confused as to why you wanted it, Gwen. <laughs> because I'm reading it later this year for a project. Summer's also oh, going to be yeah. rereading it this later mm -hmm. this year for a project <laughs> i'm so excited oh. Keisha, something tells I'm me you've read bunny at all like i would yeah. not pick that book for you <laughs> I read so it i'm kind of shocked club. you gave it five stars i read it for a book okay club. so all right something and tells me jordan's gonna rate it a four star i think jordan might like it because yeah, she's the jordan, type of person might. but also i know one thing that may bring it down for her she likes realistic stuff Oh, <laughs> girl! <laughs> you know what's really gonna shock me is if she rates it three stars. It's either you love it or you yeah. hate it. Are you vlogging? Yeah, it? can you read it? Um, I wasn't. Even a mini vlog start a vlog of just that. Yeah, book. I want. You just talked about yeah. like every time you had a thought <laughs> to share. <laughs> yeah, just, just so live capture the camera. The oh, you can do it for your Patreon. I could. That's yeah, good I would watch the crap out of that. Like, I really, I want to hear your like play-by-play <laughs> -play thoughts on it. Like, Every I'll let you all know. Now. Anyway, I'll get in our bows and books chat. I'll send all the. Have oh, you all good. read it, okay, Jesse? Have you read it? Okay, so I can send all the spoilers. One star. Yay! Cool. <laughs> oh wow, my so gosh! Fifty-fifty split. <laughs> like literally, like this side wow. and this side, like, and yeah. then Jordan you're in the I was middle. Like, which besties are you gonna <laughs> side with? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i love it i'm literally so intrigued for you to read that all right I love clearly i need to read favorite. this then because this one is not <laughs> yeah not as exciting. pulling on my heart as this one yeah <laughs> so. i'm so excited for you to start that i feel like i'm just going to be watching like your square during the sprints specifically <laughs> just like for your reactions and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what is this no literally literally Sorry to derail us completely. No, I love, I love it. That. I'll talk about Bunny anytime. I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, I love Practice Makes Perfect Jess. I really liked that one too. I gave it four stars. Oh, I hope I like it more than When in Rome. 
Even I though you gave it's... Win in Rome four stars, <laughs> literally. This is a book that just <laughs> swear she rated like a three or a two. You rated it four. So the only way it's going to be better is if it's a five, Jesse. Stop crapping on my favorite book. <laughs> Cotton 4K, Jesse. <laughs> Can we, uh, Keisha, have you read that one yet? No, not yet. It's on my okay, book remember. this year. So, yeah. Okay. I think it's really cute. I like it. All right, and then I'm reading A Fragile Enchantment by Alison Saft and A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa. F I'm not going to attempt that. Um, I think that you're really going to like A Fragile Enchantment. I read that one a little bit ago and gave it four stars, and I really liked it. So I feel like you're going to love that. And A Tempest of Tea, I feel like I need to read that. That sounds amazing, like just the title. But has anyone else? I guess nobody else here is really like a – cozy fantasy fan i was gonna ask if anyone's read a fragile enchantment but i don't think i've heard a couple of people who have read it but i mm -hmm. haven't read it it I sounds like really seen, good. cute i feel like i've seen a lot of people picking it up recently so yeah mm -hmm. it's a cute one it's not like an all-time fave but i really enjoyed it so excited for sprints tonight i'm reading the catch by amy leah is it amy lee or leah yeah, I don't really know, but Melissa is who gifted me my copy of that book, so. Oh, cute! <laughs> I think it's cute. I love that for you guys. Buddy reading it. For real, though. I think it's Lee, but that's just me. I've been saying Lee, but I could also see it being Leah, so. Yeah, with the A at the end, I want to say Leah, but I don't know either. Yeah. So. I need to, like, look up an author interview or something. Yeah. Reading Magnolia Parks, only one chapter in so far. I've heard really good things about Magnolia Parks. I want to read that. Same. Yeah. I loved Practice Makes Perfect. It was so cute. I'm reading Happy Place. Very nice. Yeah, Lena would have some thoughts about that. <laughs> I've heard really, I've heard mostly like good things about Happy Place though. I've heard that'll make you cry. Uh, everybody seems to be reading Magnolia Parks. I'm tempted to give it another try. I say, why not? Hi. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. <laughs> they are amazing. Thank you. I had so much fun like drawing them. Like I just was like, it just felt like I was drawing stuff for myself. And then I just happened to like share it, you know, like I really had a fun time doing it. Hello. I'm so excited that you're here. Uh, I'm going to be reading Anna O tonight. Very nice. Is that the one? Is that like the book of the month pick that's like pink? No, it's no, like that's silver. One. I think it's you're thinking of Annie Bot. Yeah. I am. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of a different one. I need to look up that one though. Who's read Annie Bot? Anybody? I haven't read Jordan? it yet. No. I want to, but it's no, not like top of my TBR. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're just going to have to read it, Gwen. I already did. Wait, you did? Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I knew that. She just wants someone to it? talk to about I it. I do want someone to talk to about it. <laughs> yeah. April's reading it, and she's like, this is not what I thought. I was like, girl, <laughs> me either. <laughs> you have, uh, audio on um, Libro. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I and I, I didn't even listen to it on Libro, though. I just read it physically. So. Wow. Can okay, wait. What did you give it? I gave it a three, I think. Uh-huh. It was just... It was different than I thought it was going to be, but it was very interesting. I think yeah. you would kind of like it. Really? It's about a like okay, a robot well, girlfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's on my TBR, so you actually like bump it up a little bit. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's Anna. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw mm -hmm. that. I remember seeing that on her uh, TBR too. Now, it looks. Yeah, like she was a saying it's like she's. Well, she said it was very similar to like the Silent Patient, which has me intrigued. Oh, I was like add to cart. Hey, okay. yep. I mean, I'm getting add to yeah. cart, Gwen. I know. <laughs> so I, yeah, I know. I had to intervene real quick. <laughs> add to shelf. <laughs> Let's see. Going to read oh. Love and Other Words tonight. Awesome. Yay. I feel like yeah. I have an unpopular opinion and I didn't really love that one. 
I know. I felt, like, We're not going to talk about that. Like, I didn't We're going to move to the next Aww. comment because we love that one. <laughs> like, they just have like underage sex scenes, and I just felt weird. Like I was like, oh, why did they have to put that in here? But yeah, their main conflict made me very uncomfortable. Yeah, same. But I hope you love it. Leave it. <laughs> I'm loving all the pink on all the graphics and themes today. I of course love all the pink. <laughs> Um, had to pick a book that fit all three prompts because reading three books isn't feasible. <laughs> Same. Uh, but I'm reading Love in Other Words. I picked three books on my TBR, but like I don't think I'm going to read all of them. But I definitely wanted it to be like you could pick one book for all of it. So I love that's what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, reading My Lucky Charm and the... <laughs> I don't know how to... Guernsey? The Guernsey Literary... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was like, what is that? Well, <laughs> after no, the full title, I'm not, I'm I know. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> <laughs> I got really excited about my lucky charm. I know, and then I was like, and I was like, uh huh. <laughs> Literally, T. She doesn't reread her favorite books. That's just it. They're, mm-hmm. That's it. One and done. One and done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. But I know that you loved my lucky charm. So mm-hmm. it was very, that'll be very fun cute. to see how they like it. Yeah. Um, I'll be reading Fragile Enchantment, 15 pages in so far, and I can't wait to continue. Oh, that's awesome. So good. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm reading Till There Was You by Lindsay Hammeroff. That cover looks so cute. Like, I Every instantly want to read it just the from cover, the cover. I think of Hannah, though. Really? Because she was the first person I ever saw with that book. So every time uh-huh. I go to the bookstore and I see it, I'm like, oh, there's Hannah's book. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Blueberry pancakes. No, literally, I saw that cover for the first time when she posted it today. And I was like, I need to pick that up. That looks so cute. I love, I'm a sucker for like food in books. So I'm already there. I'll be reading The Hawthorne Legacy. Very nice. I've heard like nothing but good things about that series. That's book one that you love that one. Um, I haven't read that one yet. That's the inheritance games number two, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've heard really good things about it. At first, I thought this comment said, Um, I'll be playing Hogwarts Legacy, and I was like, Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) either one, you're good. Did you read that, Jordan? I know it was on your I own all, I own all three of them, but I haven't read them yet. Okay. I want to read them. I feel like I just, they sound really good. Yeah, me too. (laughs) The mug racks are fabulous. I also have a mug problem. I love it. I feel like it's not, like, I feel like mugs, same way about books, there's definitely worse things you could spend money on. So it's okay if you have a lot of them. (laughs) Absolutely. Uh Uh-huh. What the heck? Can you guys hear that? (laughs) A little bit. There's like somebody yelling in my apartment complex. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm reading The Grace Here by Kim Liggett because it has a ribbon on the cover and The Do-Over by Lynn Painter because it's a female author. Love that. The Grace Here is, I really liked that one. And then The Do-Over, I, I want to read. Okay. I feel like The Grace Here, it's like perfect if you like Hunger Games. It's a good one. Um, I'm still making my way through Zodiac Academy and having the um, and having a blast. I don't think I should be as in love with some of these characters as I am, but oh well. <laughs> Girl, same. <laughs> it's like, this is so toxic, but I can't help but be in love with them. <laughs> um, I love that you, like, just ditch your original TBR to continue with Zodiac Academy. I fully support it. Zodiac Academy is so good. <laughs> Even though it's, like, cringe sometimes, I love it. Nobody else hears, like, a fantasy. Yeah, so no one else hears read that. Okay. <laughs> just, me, just me and Kayla. We can vibe. <laughs> Um, I probably won't like the spice, but I'm really into sports aspects right now, surprisingly. Very nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the fact that you just said rad. <laughs> did I say rad? I probably did. I don't know. <laughs> Very feeling 70s lately. Hi, Megan. 
Um, the cutest readathon ever. All. Um, I'll be reading a fragile enchantment tonight. I'm about 120 pages in and really enjoying it. I knew that you would. I knew that you would. I feel That's like, like you're going to be a love person. With it. I know. I know. Have you yeah, noticed? It's quite a few people. Have you noticed when we like when there's readathons? It's like there's like unofficial buddy reads. Like no, <laughs> really though. I feel it's like, like, like this unplanned. one's been. Yeah, like this one is Picking Daisies on Sundays and Fragile Enchantment. Um, and then I remember, too, it was last year for New Year New Reads. I feel like a ton mm -hmm. of us were reading The Winter People. Like, it's mm -hmm. so funny how that just kind of works out. I love Laura Olympus. Excited to read the next one. Not for everyone, though, maybe. Yeah, I'm glad. I, I'm glad the people that love it, love it. I wish that I loved it because I love the art so much. I can 100% get, get behind an army of books. <laughs> it's with ribbons. I love it. I love the bickering. I just need popcorn. <laughs> Mom and dad are fighting again. <laughs> I poked the Keisha Gwen be on purpose. <laughs> I'm glad you did. I think it's entertaining. <laughs> uh, same as me. Hi, listening to Practice Makes Perfect, another Practice Makes Perfect buddy read. I'm with Keisha on Bunny. I loved it. I did too. So good. <laughs> Tell me why. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to make that my next merch. No, literally. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, we'll be reading Maya Bad, The Return of the Godlings, book two of Maya and the Rising Dark. I'm guessing that's a cozy. I haven't heard of that one. Hmm. I loved Practice Makes Perfect more than one in Rome. Adored it. I think I liked both of them like equally. I think they were both really cute. Uh, Practice Makes Perfect was so good, but I prefer one in Rome. It's my all-time favorite romance book. Bye! Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at me do! Chaos ensues. I'm just glad it wasn't me this time, because I'm always the one getting kicked out. <laughs> but when is the last time this has happened? This is so exciting. Oh, oh she's back. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fun. I panicked. Was I was really like, what did I just do? <laughs> I have no idea what, what I just did, but that was not good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. My face is getting hot. Okay, I need to calm down. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, I was just going to say, I really like both of those. And also I love one in Rome because it's a retelling of uh, Roman Holiday, which is my favorite Audrey Hepburn movie. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, I like to start the sprint. <laughs> no, literally. Oh my gosh. Um, I won a fragile enchantment on a giveaway from a vet, so I can't wait to start it. That's awesome. Uh, I forgot I sent that one to Gwen. Hello. Currently reading A Fate Inked in Blood, but also may star a lady's guide to fortune and hunting because it's due back to the library soon. Very nice. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised, probably. <laughs> No, she uh, I read like Annie she bought. it up. She says, Plot wait, oh, watch. Plot it is, is pronounced, pronounced Annie's Day. Oh, I like, I read that really quick and was like, oh, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. That is. Oh, no, she plot. says, watch. Okay, so maybe it's not. <laughs> I need to look it up during the next sprint and see. <laughs> um, Gwen, here's your. I already know, Kayla. I saw your okay. review, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Annie Bot rated it three stars. I loved the first 75%, but I hated the ending. I wanted it to be way darker. I feel like if that's how you felt, I would also feel that way. I'm still intrigued enough that I'm going to read it, though, for sure. It's pretty short. That's what I thought when I saw it. I was like, that looks really short. So I think the audiobook, I'll just be able to, like, fly through it in a day or something. Mm -hmm. Um, where'd you get your rug? The checkered rug is from, I think I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's called the colsey rug i think um i just if you google checkered rug and just look for 
I just got mine from Bath and Body Works or not Bath and Body Works, but Bath and Beyond. So, and I got it on sale. It was only like, it was less than 200 for like a seven by nine rug, which is crazy. So I highly recommend, and it comes in lots of different colors. It's my favorite thing that I own. <laughs> Potato Peel Society <laughs> is a fabulous movie. I haven't seen the movie, so oh, is Keisha looking up? Oh, Travis is home. It's Amy Lee. I listened to it was two different interview things, and it's Amy Lee on both of them. So, so you feel like L E E? Yeah, yeah. Lee, okay. which is my middle name, so I should remember that. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. that. Wait, what'd you say? The age, Keisha, what'd you say? Messes, the age just messes with me at the end because it makes me want to oh, say Leah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like Same. Leah Beth. <laughs> <laughs> no, really though. <laughs> Good example. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lowe's here. <laughs> so cute. He's like, I'm not going to look. He's like, I just want the shoes box. Okay, <laughs> <Hey>, bye. <laughs> Uh, reading Ooh, Matilda, Matilda tonight, a classic. Uh, that just made me think of Matilda by Harry Styles, though, and I just like can't. Uh, Hi, oh, oh. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> uh, my first time joining, reading Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands. Well, welcome, <laughs> and also that is one of my all-time favorite books. So I hope that you love it. Oh no, this is one. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it dips out. Yep. Uh, a middle grade fantasy book. Very nice. You need to watch Funny Face. I, I love Funny Face. I've seen that one a few times and I love it. I've seen that one's my favorite. I love Sabrina. Um, a few others. Uh, but I, I do love Funny Face. That one's really cute. Hey, I got a fantasy yeah, novel Sabrina. today that is based on Sabrina. <gasps> or it's inspired by. Oh. Yeah, it was the one that Wendy did a giveaway for, the Until the Stars Fall by Vanessa Rassman. Oh, it's inspired cool. by, hey, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I it's don't recognize him now because he has kids. short hair. I know. Yeah, the short hair is. I'm it's like, who's that stranger in Summer's house? Right? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I love the haircut, though. <clears throat> Um, Keisha, I need you to like send me the link or something for Goodreads okay. for that one because I want to read that. Okay. Let's see. Making up another way to pronounce it. I haven't seen that movie. I literally have never heard of it until I heard Keisha talking about it and then Gwen talking about it. It's so. really good. The movie, the book yeah. was the first time I read it. <laughs> okay, I'll have to watch the movie at least because I don't think I'll read the book, but I could watch the movie. Every time I hear that title, though, I just think of fried green tomatoes because it's kind of like yeah, sort of the same. I don't know. Hi, Sandra. Um, reading something. Uh, not home yet. That one is inspired by Sabrina. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, I haven't even like seen the cover for that. That's pretty. I sent it to you, though. Okay, thank you. I love the version with Harrison Ford. I haven't seen that one, but I need to. I've only seen like the one with Audrey in it. I didn't know I was inspired by Sabrina. I need. <laughs> so excited. I haven't even I seen it. Sabrina. It just said it at the bottom of the, like it had the synopsis and then it has the little blurby thing and it said that. And I was like, yeah. Oh, nice. I know what Sabrina is. I've just never seen it. Yeah, you should watch it. It's really cute. But that definitely makes me want to read that book. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we will get into the sprints. Let me figure out my screen share really quick. All right. Cute. Yeah, I just did. I couldn't find, like, anything with, like, bows. So we just went with, like, a spring theme. So. Love it. That's what we're going to do. Um, and I'm thinking maybe let's go until like 10 after, do a little bit of like a longer sprint. Does that sound okay? Sounds, Sounds perfect. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll just see you after the sprint.
Sorry, I'm like forgetting how to use StreamYard. <laughs> the StreamYard <laughs> buttons are hard. Dude, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> after literally ejecting myself out of the live show, now I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't read for most of that sprint because Travis brought home dinner, so I was eating with him. But I did make it to page 15 of this. Um, so far, I'm really liking it. It's pretty much the same as her other collection, just like a lot of feminism, things like that. So um, I really liked the first poem, especially so far. So, But um, how did everybody else do? Jordan, how did you do? Good. Um, I first put my kids to bed, so I didn't read for the first part of the sprint. But then I started Bunny, and I got to chapter four, which is like 25 pages in. Nice. So far, so good. It feels very normal so far. <laughs> Yeah. So probably a while before I have any sort of reactions. Uh-huh. I'm so excited though. <laughs> Gwen, how about you? Um, doing good. Um, made it to page 33. Um, and then it was kind of cool because the prologue it starts with like a quote from Taylor Swift, the lover album. So I was like, oh cute. So what's the yeah. quote? Um, well, it's just, and then at the top of every chapter, it says, my heart's been borrowed and yours has been blue. And then, you know, at the the next one, it says, and how did um, I ever let time pass this long without seeing you? And then the next, you know, so yeah, oh. I really like that. <laughs> love. I love that. That's so cute. Yeah. Um, I made it to 20% of my book, so wherever that is um I started doing a puzzle because I started feeling kind of like I needed to like do something with my hands so I'm doing a little Harry Potter puzzle cute so it's only three I love that you had your okay my, I love that you had this... your camera pointed down so you could see yeah I love that nice can you have the border down progress. that's like yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> Please ignore That's him. I'm serenading us. Him. Ew, no. <laughs> Gross. Oh my gosh. Keisha, how'd uh, you do? I made it to page 37. Nice. Are you liking it so far? Yeah? I don't know yet. <laughs> I was going to say, I can't tell from your face. Um, And so it begins. It's mm -hmm. not... Okay, so you know how, like, I read My Phony Valentine, Gwen knows, and then I read the cheat sheet, and I DNF the cheat sheet. <laughs> so when you, I, it, That's for anybody. When you read an all-time new favorite, and then you go into the same genre again, it's kind of yeah. like, yeah, this is fine, but it's I, not that. I will So that's say, why if I have, like, an all-time fave, I always skip and do a different no. genre, because... I know, but this is my readathon TV. I, know. I will say, I think after this, I'm going to have to be brutally honest with myself that I I know what kind of romance books I like now and I need to stick to them. And I need to make, like, I don't know, like I'm very picky. Like I'm very, very, very picky. And so I will nitpick and I'm trying to just enjoy this because I love the prologue of it. But after that, I just am like, mid about it mm -hmm. so i already knew i knew <laughs> every day i was like, like mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's, not, I know you, it's not just the one thing that i know you know oh, i know yeah but it's just i don't know like i i need to feel like i relate with relationships in books and not everybody needs that but i think i do and so if it's not something I can see myself in, I don't want to read it. And so that's what makes it hard because mm -hmm. I'm very much too picky with it. But that's just my reality right now. So, <laughs> so that's I should know that about right. yourself. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to still try some more before I make any decisions. But I just feel bad because I'm like, oh, gosh, of course. Like I try to finally buddy read a book with Gwen. We're going to do one in May, though. <laughs> We're going to do that's one true. in May. That's true. Yeah, go with your gut. If you need to DNF it, just do it. You know? We'll see. I'll give it a little bit more. Yeah. But... <laughs> All right. Well, I will go through some comments. I did not put a marker by where I stopped. Great. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> I think I read this one, that one. I think this is the newest one. Um, it's so good. It's nothing like fried green tomatoes. Thank God. <laughs> now I can eat barbecue for another two years. Now I can't eat barbecue for another two years now that we've talked about it. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that aspect of the movie. <laughs> I love that movie, though. I think it's really cute. Happy reading. Lena, just finished yeah. dance. Going to listen to the reformatory on my drive home. Nice. Hi, Gabby. I uh, just got done cleaning. Going to be reading My Lucky Charm. Oh, awesome. I hope that you love it. Got to 5% and lots of snuggles with my little niece. Oh, that's awesome. Only got about 20 pages of A Fragile Enchantment read because I got hungry and had to find something to eat. <laughs> Girl, same. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to eat and then I'll try to read as much as I can. What did you have for dinner? Hopefully it was really good. Read three chapters. Awesome. Did a French request in Hogwarts Legacy and read 32 pages. Not my fave so far. That's my prediction, bad. Yvette, is that you're not going to like it because I did. So my prediction is that she won't. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> also, I love that you're playing Hogwarts Legacy. I'm like, I made it like halfway to like the halfway mark when I was playing it on my husband's PlayStation. And then I got it for my Switch. And I'm maybe, maybe only like a quarter to like a third of the way through. But I need to pick it back up again because it's so fun. Um, also ordered dinner and it's on its way. Yum. That's the best way you order in too so you don't have to do dishes and stuff. Got 30 pages read in the catch. Awesome. Finished a movie and read the first chapter of Laura Olympus Volume 5. Nice. What movie were you watching? Um, I'm reading Mother Thing. It's so good. I'm on page 110. I want to read that one really bad. <laughs> Does anybody else want to read that? Um, the cover's very cool. Uh-huh. I don't know if it's Definitely. like a book, though. <laughs> I, know I feel like is. there's a few. It's like a horror book. And I feel That's like there's the a few that... horror girlies here. It was for a book club, so. Like I don't back. remember. I just remember have, I've seen the cover and thought it was looked good. Yeah. Like, it would be weird. I think Elizabeth from Reading, Reading Riley. Riley. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Why is Zodiac Academy so bad but so good? <laughs> First off, I would literally die for Geraldine. Second, the authors have no right to be making me feel this way about Professor O'Reilly. Okay, <laughs> girl, same. I hated Geraldine. I think that that's how you say her name. I hated her in the first like couple of books, and then she just like really grows on you because she's like so crazy and wacky. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm like fifty fifty on Orion. I'm a Darius girl myself, but. I'm so glad that you're loving it, though. <laughs> um, OMG, I'd get that book just because of the quotes. The Picking Daisies. I don't know what book we're talking about. Yeah, okay. I made it to page 49, started on 15, and I'm enjoying a fragile enchantment. Saf's writing feels very whimsical. Yes, I agree. 26 pages in, and there's been a uh, talk of Gordon Ramsay and a one night stand. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> it's so random. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, for real though. <laughs> oh my gosh. I made it to chapter four of Magnolia Parks and I do not understand their relationship, but I'm here for the show. <laughs> I love it. Honestly, I don't even know what the premise of Magnolia Parks is, but I still just like want to read it because I've heard it's good. I so I need to look up the synopsis. A toxic, a toxic relationship. Yeah, okay. That's kind of what I thought. I don't normally like toxic relationship stuff except for like in Zodiac Academy. But I feel like I want to give it a try for Magnolia Parks. <laughs> I've heard it compared to like Chuck and Blair from Gossip Girl, which <gasps> is intriguing. I'm living. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, I, I do remember I've heard that book compared to Gossip Girl. That was one of the things. Um, Yeah, Chuck and Blair absolutely say less absolutely yeah. literally yeah i'm obsessed with them um read a few chapters nice 
I got a good chunk done during that sprint. I'm still really enjoying Anna O. So intriguing. That's awesome. I think that we're all very like interested to see your thoughts on it. <laughs> Keisha? Picky? No way. <laughs> Uh, I want to add the recording that I think Keisha will love. Oh, I cannot read tonight. I want to add to the record that I think Keisha will love Practice Makes Perfect. I think it's so cute so far. I oh, think you would also like Practice Makes Perfect. We got to get through Win and Rome first. So. Because <laughs> I'm going to read them in order. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, made it to page 150 of A Fate Inked in Blood, and I'm loving it. Um, I need myself a hot Viking warrior like the man in this book. If anyone knows where to pick one up, <laughs> pick up one of those. I love it. I'm really excited to read that one. I got a copy a couple weeks ago at Target, and it's so pretty. And I love Danielle L. Jensen's writing. So, Well, I heard there's a festival this weekend in North Carolina. It's a Norse festival. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to go to the Ren Fair every once in a while, you know. <laughs> I'm eating some air fryer chicken nuggets. Very nice. You can't go wrong with some nuggies. Oh, shoot. Definitely a two-star romance if Keisha liked it. <laughs> I started Hogwarts Legacy but couldn't get into it. I'm planning on rereading Harry Potter this fall, though, so I'm sure I'll be in the mood to play it then. I feel like doing it in the fall is perfect, too. Like, I just feel like anything Harry Potter is, like, perfect in the fall. So that'll be so fun to, like, play it along with the reread. Yeah. It really gives me, fun. like, back-to-school vibes, but magic. Yeah. I love, like that there's just so much more of like the grounds and stuff and like of Hogsmeade that you get to like explore and you get to see like the common rooms like the design of everything is just like like when I saw the Hogwarts common room for the first time I almost cried I was like oh my gosh <laughs> so yeah I love it I just need to finish playing it I feel like I go through like phases where it's either like I'm listening to audiobooks I'm listening to music and then I'm playing Animal Crossing or I'm playing Harry Potter like it's just I can't do any at the same time it's like I have to just do it whenever it feels right and it's so annoying because I just want to do all of them um I never finished the Zodiac series um I need some recap vlogs because the talk about them is making me want to finally finish them um I I'm like in the middle maybe not even in the middle of the most recent book that's come out and I've kind of I stopped reading it like a soft DNF because the authors are just kind of bugging me like they're just, I feel like they're just, they want to torture us. And they're just like putting all this, like putting us through all of this stuff in their books and like hurting the characters just because they can. And it's making me so mad. It's almost like they're taunting us too, like with their author's notes at the end. So I don't know. It was just getting really convoluted in the last one. So um, I don't know where in the Zodiac Academy series that you stopped, but I don't know, maybe read up until the most recent book and then see if you want to keep reading and I guess there's going to be one more book too um I loved Gossip Girl which is the only reason I want to try that series mm -hmm. this is the first live in the new place so exciting it is it is very exciting I'm just glad that I have a better backdrop here because the, the old one was not it <laughs> especially with the headboard <laughs> even though you guys all love it I guess <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I did like when I made it into a ghost. I thought that was pretty funny. Classic. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Joby's looking so cute and snuggly. I didn't see, but I bet she's so cute. She's always like under the blanket with you, which I think is so cute. She was sitting up with me a minute ago, but then she got up and she's roaming around oh. my house. <laughs> Uh, Hannah, what are you reading? I need a book that mentions my king in it. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> We're talking about Gordon Ramsay, right? Yeah. Lena. Lena. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I mean, because didn't she go to like the Gordon Ramsay restaurant for her birthday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a crush on him, though, Lena? Because I'm a little bit concerned if that's happening. <laughs> She does actually. <gasps> yeah, I'm wrong. Not like 
Not in that sense. I think she just really likes Gordon Ramsay. (laughs) I think that's so funny. Lana, you're going to have to read it. Uh, I was so into my book that I forgot to come back. I made it to 62% of the invocations. Nice. That's always the best, though, like when you're so in it that you just like forget about everything else. So I think that's a good thing. I got Magnolia Parks book number one today, mostly um, because Bookish Gem Jordan has vlogged about it so much. That's right. I have seen her talk about it quite a bit. So that's awesome. Yeah, Jordan has convinced us all. (laughs) Love it. I do miss the headboard. (laughs) (laughs) Gordon Rosie is fine. (laughs) I'm only a little obsessed with him. Lena, this is making me going to look at you different. I don't know about that. I wonder if she like, like if it's like the yelling that he does or like the humiliating. (laughs) You know what I mean? The dominant. A nice guy. Like he's, that's just what he's doing in the show. I know, but I wonder if that like does anything. (laughs) Lena, Lena likes a daddy dom. Oh my goodness. Wow. The more you know. (laughs) New question of the day. (laughs) <laughs> oh, it is no. the question of the day <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh Lena <laughs> uh, Till There Was You by Lindsay Hammeroff I agree Lena Ramsey is sexy are we talking about the same person here like maybe I need to look at pictures of him ugly. Light. yeah I don't think he's that bad but he's not I wouldn't no he's not him. like that bad but also, I've just never considered him as like, oh, he's attractive. I'm always just like, he's the scary kitchen guy, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Lena, I'm positive there's some out there. Like, you need to just go to AO3 and just, like, search Gordon Ramsay or something. Book one, hot off the grill. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jesse's going to write it. <laughs> Jesse knew. I will write the book for you, Lena. <laughs> Will it be trash in the best ways and the be- in the worst ways? I would read it, Jesse, if you wrote it. I would read it. <laughs> uh, he's a hothead for sure, but he can cook. I also love Gordon. I mean, oh, Lena. <laughs> I miss Ghosty Headboard too. <laughs> he's so angry. <laughs> All for Daddy <laughs> I'm learning a lot about all of you tonight. <laughs> Caught off the grill. Yes. I love the Vince comment. <laughs> no, literally. Book not book two. Hell's Bedger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can this really be a thing? Jesse, I, I know that you were working on your other book. I think you need to take a break from that project and work on this. Consider it done. <laughs> BRB going to AO3. <laughs> Love it. Oh my gosh. For real though. Oh, this is amazing. Book three. It's raw. <laughs> Go on your face. You're like, okay. Wow, guys. Like, oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Lena's I had a day her. today, you guys. We can cut her some slack. Yeah. No, true. <laughs> she needs true. to unwind a little. <laughs> Lena, I hope you get home and you can just like have a glass of wine and just like cuddle your dogs. You need it. You deserve it, girl. Go to AO3. Um, I have a quick, yeah. I have a quick little game activity thing that she helped me come up with. Um, I have some ribbons in this little jar. And when I pull one, each one has like a prompt for a book recommendation. So we're going to go around. I think I have enough for everyone to do too. So I'll pull one out and it'll ask you for a book recommendation. And you just have to think of one or come up with one. You can use your phones. If there's like not a time limit on it or anything, but I just thought it'd be a fun way to like do some specific book recommendations. So who wants to go first? I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jesse, I'm going to pull one for you. Oh. Ooh. 
Um, a book with a food element. Oh gosh. Uh, Hot off the grill, volume one. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see. The first one that comes to mind is with the fire on high by oh mm -hmm. gosh. Elizabeth Alyssa Acevedo. Acevedo. Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. first one that comes to mind. Um Mm, or if you're looking for like a graphic novel, I'm going to go with Batter Royale. Yes. It's a great, great graphic novel. So there's two for you. I still need to read that one. Very nice. So cute. Good job. All right. Yvette's Keisha, comment. I'm going to do you next. Yvette's comment. Wait. <laughs> Here, wait. I need to catch up. This has went some sort of way. This took a turn from a sweet both themed reading sprint real quick. <laughs> I saw a video earlier today of Gordon's mom saying his pie is raw too. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I love that this is like, oh, girly bows. All of a sudden it's like complete different wrong, theme that we're talking about. <laughs> I love it though. I'm here for it. The Storyteller by Jody Pico. The main character is a baker. Yep. Yvette always comes in clutch with, with the good comments, I feel like. <laughs> All right, Keisha. Um, a book with a beautiful cover. Mm. Wait. <laughs> we can I show you? <laughs> I already know what she's going to show. I know what she's going to show, too. What am I going to show? <laughs> Is, it starts with a C. Uh-huh. Yes! <laughs> I would have been sad if you didn't mention that one. I mean, I just got it, so I had to. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many I could say. Belladonna is probably, like, I, what I would mm -hmm. really recommend. I mean, either one. If middle grade, Coraline, YA, Belladonna, both fantasy. Yeah. So, but I just got this, and it's so pretty. Very good answers. No, I love that edition. It's so pretty. All right. I did enough to include me in it, too, so I guess I'll just do my next. Um, flowers on the cover. Just kidding. Um, crap, I have so many with flowers on the cover. I'll do And Yet by Kate Bear. Yep. <laughs> uh, that one also has flowers on the cover. All right, Jordan. A book that involves tea. Tea. Mm -hmm. I tried to make all of these kind of like themed around the readathon a little bit and like coquette stuff. Hmm. If I you don't have that. one, we I'm can not give sure this I'm gonna one to anything for tea. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, the Tea Dragon Society graphic novel by Katie O'Neill. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. That's the one that immediately came to mind. But then earlier, the Tempest of Tea, the yes. Tempest Tea, and then um. Alice in Wonderland. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alice in Wonderland kind of has like a tea theme also. Uh -huh. And let's see what else. Um, I have I a couple. This... There's like a magic steeped in poison. Um, oh, you love that one. Yeah. And then a Cuban girl's guide to tea and tomorrow. That's the one I was trying to think of. Yeah. Okay. I really like that one. That's an example of like, I don't really like YA stuff. But I loved that book, even though it's YA. I haven't read it, but what about um, Legends and Lattes for, like, a beverage? There's not, like, tea in it specifically, but I would still say it's, like, tea adjacent. So I think it counts. Oh, yeah. If you're yeah, it counts. Coffee it counts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See how lenient we it. are with these prompts? <sighs> I know. It's great. <laughs> uh, Jordan, I'll do another one for you. Okay. Um, a bow on the cover. A bow on the cover. Other than the one that I was reading earlier. Cleat cute. Hmm, I didn't look at my shelves at my red books because I obviously just looked at my TBR for the readathon. So, oh, the gray seer, which we talked about, that like perfectly fits the aesthetic with the bow. Mm -hmm. um, the measure, 
I don't know if it has a bow, but it's got a string on the cover, which Mm -hmm. we counted for the prompt. And that's one of my favorite books of all time. So I'll go with that one. Nice. That's a good one. My mom is currently borrowing that book or else I would pull it out to look. Oh, yeah. I didn't like think about The Measure Does Have Flowers. Yeah. Alice in Wonderland. The Tempest of Tea. Once Upon a Broken Heart. Laura's Child's Cozies. I haven't read those. <laughs> I know, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't the measure also have a bow? Literally a perfect book. <laughs> perfect book. Mm-hmm. So true. I'm excited to read that one because I know that everyone loves it so much. Hi, Zoe. I'm so glad that you're here. All right. Gwen? I mean, I kind of went for Jordan, but I'll go again. (laughs) Um, A book with found family. Um, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Um, That's the only one I got. (laughs) I can't think. That's like a hard one. Hey. That's um, a good one, though, for that answer. Mm-hmm. Um, the Naturals. Oh, that is a good one. The mm-hmm. Naturals. I would definitely say that. Um, I would also say, like, Akamaf, Throne of Glass. <laughs> yeah, I haven't read those. All the, the Sarah J. Mass books. I was going to say, I know that I'm the only fantasy girly. Well, Keisha, you mm-hmm. like a little bit of fantasy. I mean, though. Six of Crows is fantasy. Look at me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you read that back, like, when you were in your fantasy era, though? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mm -hmm. yeah. Still, though, that's a very good answer. All right, Jesse. Okay. A cozy book. (laughs) (laughs) A cozy book. Um, Okay. She's Uh, like, let me look past all my thrillers. (laughs) No, literally. I was like, some of these are going to be good for some people and not for others. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, I would have loved that one. <laughs> You've got this, Jesse. I believe in you. <laughs> okay. So a book that makes me feel all the warm and cozies is going to be 112263. Like, absolutely love that book. Mm. But if we're going for something different, I would... Oh, hang on. I just read it. Shoot. I can't remember it. And of course I deleted half the books off my Goodreads. So I can't go back and look. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. I you would know, say some romances are kind of cozy. Well, I was going to say yeah. Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez really gave me those warm and cozy feel. Not a cozy mystery girly, but yeah. But if you're looking yeah. for a cozy mystery, I would say... Um, the one at that set at the Outer Banks, the um, the something murders. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it Smile Beach Murder? Smile Beach Murders. That's a good one. Green eggs and ham. Thank you, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read some comments really quick. All for cozies have tea flavor names in them. That's so cute. I'm gonna have to look those up. Um. I will be reading Love from Scratch for my book with a bow. Nice. I knew that Megan was going to be all about the six, the six of Crows answer. Six of Crows. Another is the best found family. family would be Misfit Mansion. Just saying. Yes. Oh, ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just like hard to think off the top of my head of like a found family one, but I do mm-hmm. love books that have found family in it. Yeah. And I'm putting everybody on the spot. <laughs> After this, everyone will be like, oh, there's like 10 answers that I just thought. Oh, exactly. Reading. That's how I am. I have to yeah. like think about it for a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Me wishing too. game. Oh, yes. Oh, it's not my TBR for next month. Found family oh, that becomes real so family. <laughs> also, um, The House on the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune that has yep. found family mm-hmm. in it. Mm-hmm. Totally. <laughs> Um, blood you. air for found family. Nice. Also found family. Eggs and ham. Five stars. 
<laughs> Something murder. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh. You can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could go to jail, but you can't go wrong. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Keisha, a character that has an animal. Character that has As a character. A um, the last house on Needless Street. <laughs> Out of yes. all the ones you chose that one. <laughs> That's what I saw on my shelf. I was looking. <laughs> That's a good one. Has the cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one. I mean, there's probably more. That one that has an animal. Coraline. Oh, yeah, Coraline, Coraline has an animal. Yeah. Has anyone read Shady Hollow? Okay, uh, that's yeah. like the first thing that I think of with like animal characters is Shady Hollow. I mean, anybody in a cozy has an a, an animal. Oh yeah, yeah, like the mm -hmm. pro, like the um frozen or crime poetry. Crime poetry. It's like mm -hmm. which yeah. one are we? Talking? Like, yeah, there's a, <laughs> like a raven, and, and then yeah, there's all kinds. Of... The footwork is better. Just <laughs> 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 the last word by Taylor Adams. Yeah, I still haven't one. read that one. Yvette's about okay. to hurt y'all's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> all Abby books, <laughs> but I would Yvette is no longer my friend. She has been written off. <laughs> 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 dare you <laughs> I gave part of your world five stars and I'm pretty I don't remember what she gave it maybe it was a two but Yvette you can correct me if I'm wrong oh dang that's like a very controversial I mean I get opinion, it I but like. like I don't understand maybe she was popped <laughs> up on some medication or I mean something. I like, get it but I don't me <laughs> tell me why because <laughs> I need to know <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Not a sound. I'll have to look into that one. <laughs> Eva, how know. could you? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, right? See? Two point I thought over Daddy Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> you think you know a person. <laughs> you think you know a person. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kayla, you just hushed down there. <laughs> How dare y'all? I feel that way about Emily Henry. So here to break hearts. Mm -hmm. You know, I've only read one Emily Henry, and I really didn't care for it that much. So I'm very interested to see how I like the other ones. Uh, it was the beach. Was it one. book lovers? Beach read. Oh. It was beach oh. read. They get better. <laughs> Okay, cool. Because I was like, this is not even about a beach. This is not set on a beach. This I is like kind of depressing. Better than people we meet on vacation. Oh, I okay. love people we meet on vacation. I like happy yeah, I've heard if you best. like certain mm -hmm. books, you'll dislike other ones and stuff. But yeah. I'm excited to read Book Lovers, though, because I do have that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here to Break Hearts. Specifically mine. <laughs> so we yours truly and happily ever playlist nice yeah yours truly is her best for me okay jesse you would love the dog and not a sound i mean i love all dogs so <laughs> i'm gonna okay. give yours truly a try i'm open-minded i swear okay. fair <laughs> best oh i cannot wait no they don't i'm gonna have you peek a beach read i said what i said <laughs> I love it. Who did I just end with? I think it was Keisha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then, Jordan, I'll do you next since. Oh, you skipped we yourself have one for you before. Well, that's fine. I don't really need to answer him. And for Jordan, we kind of like she got kind of a dud one anyway. So we'll give you another one. <laughs> um, a book, <laughs> a book that feels like spring. A book that feels like spring. I'll go with spring cover vibes. One sec. Mm. 100 This just released, so big spring release. And the cover, I think, is so beautiful. And yeah. I gave it five stars. Mm. So. Oh, that's awesome. I'm, I'm really Did excited. Did you like it better than the first? 
I like it equally to the first. Mm. The first one I've had more, I've reread it. I have had more time mm-hmm. to like linger yeah. with it. Um, yeah, but I like it just as much. Nice. Very good cover for that. It's beautiful. All right. And then Gwen, last one, friends to lovers. Oh, boom. Okay. Um, I will love another words and mm-hmm. every summer after Eleanor and gray. Mm, what are some of my other favorites? Mm. I don't know this one. Because <laughs> um, that one's kind of, is it like a second chance romance as well? It's fake dating, okay. second chance. Oh, they were friends in high school and stuff like that. Then they yeah. were apart for college and now like they're bumping back into each other. Um, what are that. some of y'all's favorite friends to lovers? Who likes that trope? I love, I love that trope. I love that trope. I really like um, Love Life Arms. I think that's like one of my all-time favorite mm-hmm. friends to lovers. <gasps> I know. That, that's back to Keisha <laughs> being weird. We're just going to ignore that comment. I said I was picky. I know. So that's why I said you're weird. We're moving on. All oh right. Oh, my God. <laughs> <Hurting not. laughs> mm-hmm. That's where it's at for me. Are any of hers friends to Holiday lovers? Romance by Catherine Walsh. Yeah. Oh, I do no, really no, like no. that one. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Nick and Noel's holiday playlist. I'm sorry. The spy. Okay. I haven't similar. read that one. It was yeah. my favorite book of all time last year. Or not of all time. Oh, that's year. right. Yeah. Holiday romance mm-hmm. is also a friends to lovers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Courtney has a friends to lovers that I know about. Also that, well, I'm trying to think of. Yeah. There's a bunch of them, but I like all of them. Mm-hmm. I'll be right back. I have to kill a bug. <laughs> That's so random. Well, I feel like well, I actually don't bug. see that many friends to lovers compared to other tropes. Every summer after. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't um, read that one. I feel like I have more in my brain that I've read, but I just can't think of them. I always feel like Love Life Farms is like my go-to for that. Yeah. Um, I, don't know. I do love friends to lovers, though. So. People we meet on vacation, obviously. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, how, do, how does your bug killing go, Keisha? Um, I lost it. It's one of those, do y'all get those, like, it's not It's not a scary bug. It's just, oh, I hate. It's those big, um, long leg flying bugs. They're called mayflies. Those. I hate those. And I hit it. I swatted it. Um, all yeah. bugs are scary. Yeah. Well, it's just annoying. It's like a giant, it looks like a giant mosquito, but it's not uh, a mosquito. It's not. Scary. It's what Ew, said. yeah. Uh-uh. I'd be crying. They come in every time we open the door, like they they stay outside our door. And so it's hard to not get them in the house, but I've lost it. I'll find mm. it later. Maybe I knocked it out. Mm. I hate bugs so much. Me. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope Come you find it. North <laughs> no bugs up here. There's right not. Now. Oh, I mean, you know what? It's winter. cold enough that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of bugs out where I live. We have lots of roaches. They yeah, where Jordan lives, me. it's too cold for the bugs. So they just go there and die, just like I would. Yep. I would <laughs> literally go there and die. <laughs> too freaking cold there. <laughs> bugs can't survive there. Boy, they can't survive there. That's, that's a red flag for me. <laughs> it's a huge perk. No bugs, no reptiles, no critters, no Gwen. No Gwen. Yeah. No oh my God. <laughs> Actually, I would still come. I would still come. I'd, I'd make it work, but it would have Someday. to be like the Someday day you the will. summer. <laughs> I would come. I love it. Um, I truly wrote her off and read uh, yours truly and completely changed my mind. Hmm. I gave part of your world one star. Wow. 
controversial. Jesse, <laughs> I mean, y'all don't understand that me and Jesse, that was both of our favorite book in 2022. Yeah. Like, we will come for you. We will write an essay about why you're wrong. <laughs> Jesse's like, hold my earrings. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Some fighting. I recommend words. everyone try that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Abby only gets stars for the animals in her books. I mean, Y'all are trying to fight with people. <laughs> I will not tolerate <laughs> this. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? Hold my bow. <laughs> Hold my bow. <laughs> um, where did your white one go, Jesse? It's a bookmark, <laughs> but I'm reading. Yeah, it on that's a good bookmark. <laughs> oh well. Mm, okay. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I will get dragged for this, but I thought it was so boring, and I hated the gaslighting. Okay, wait. And the romance wait, was meh. Hold on. You're supposed to hate the gaslighting ex. You're supposed to hate him. She did a good job writing that. So you hated them. So you can't hate it for that. You can't. Like literally, that is the point. When people like can like and just like whatever they want. <laughs> if no, she can. Deep breaths. Like, Short of you being the, the type stuff. nine. Keep the peace. <laughs> But no, it just it like it just cracks me up when people say that because I'm like that's why he's the ex like that. That's why it's an ex. You're, that means she did a good job making you hate him. Imagine liking him. Like no. Oh my gosh, he gaslighted her, but I liked him. <laughs> oh my gosh, he was such a good guy. <laughs> Favorite character. <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> Can we just get back to yours truly though? <laughs> I will die on this hill. <laughs> That's I promise good. I've not given up on her. I will read more. That's good. The friend zone. Mm-hmm. I do need to read that still. <laughs> yeah, really, though. I feel like there's definitely a lot of opinions about romance stuff. Love holiday romance. Yeah, that one is so cute. I love that one. DNF Lena. I DNF friend zone, too. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. I just love We have a lot of I know I like, there's so many different opinions. I just love it. I think it's so funny. I don't really care I know, I do people too. like I just think it's funny That's, talking like this. Yeah. I sincerely apologize. We're coming from the roads tonight. Will we still be friends after this? I don't know. <laughs> The T, I, I like clickbait my thumbnail, like bows and books broke up my friendship group. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'll put on my blog. <laughs> Wendy, you just became Lena's BFF with that comment. <laughs> no, really though? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Joby's tail wagging as Keisha killed the bug, just had me dying. <laughs> I didn't even get it. Joby's like, was. yeah. No, mom. She was like, get him, mom. He barks whenever I try to hit him. It's like she's trying to save her friends. I'm like, dude, this is not your friend. <laughs> and, and she like, I'm killing them after their dad. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, I like what Yvette said. She said, bows, books, and brawls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next Wait, round. Wait, I'm like so behind on comments. I need to hurry up. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Like, really, though? Yay, the South. <laughs> About the bugs. <laughs> About dying. <laughs> Fewer up here. They're predicting the largest amount of cicadas in 200 years this year? Oh, uh, Absolutely wait. not. Can't wait. I mean, not having read, like, 95% of the romance books y'all are talking about and still thinking about Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I love it. This is about to t- take out her tie. Her. Can I read today? They got her bow tie up her hair. Take out her tie up, roll up her sleeves. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Actually, no, we had a lot of like lizards and stuff when I lived in Utah. We so. definitely have a lot of like lizards. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they do get inside, so you got to be a little careful. <laughs> Charlie eats them, so. 
Ew. <gasps> oh, Just their tails. God. If she can catch them. <laughs> oh, I'm like, pull the bow. <laughs> Hold my bow. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds angry like Gordon. <laughs> Kind of spicy. I love I love the spicy chat. <laughs> Gaslighting is just a new level. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that makes sense. Like not liking some of like the heavier hitting romance stuff. Yeah. Give me the rom coms, please. I'm the well, I like either or, but I like rom coms better. Make me though. cry. My husband literally looked at the TV and said, I think you just upset Jesse. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> yeah, bows, books, and brawls. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm not an Abby Jimenez fan or an Emily Henry fan. Dang. I mean, that's like me saying I'm not a fantasy <laughs> fan. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. I'm like, I like Abby Jimenez's books. I gave them like four stars, but honestly, they're kind of like, I can take them or leave them. They were good, but they're not like all time favorite romance books. <laughs> but I will have no like, more. <laughs> Jesse, hey, canceled hey have y'all noticed? I'm going to say this and somebody's going to say something and make me mad, but have y'all noticed nobody said anything bad about Courtney Walsh? <laughs> now somebody's going to just to make me mad. But I'm just saying. That's true. I haven't read any Courtney Walsh. That's because nobody's read her except for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I have to. Happy place is the rotten apples of tonight. And now we're going on the rotten apples again. I'm kidding. God knows I do. That's right. You better leave it down over there. No, he was adorable. Yeah, Daniel was adorable. I like Daniel, yeah. That was the best part of the book. I mean, that's also my Things we never name. got over. Oh. Yeah, mm, I didn't like yeah. that one either. It's like bonus points. I haven't read this one, and I don't really, like, want to, so. I gave so my TBR. TBR. I know some people. Yeah, so my TBR. <laughs> some people are, like, die hard, like, fans of it, though, so. Yeah. I'm always thinking about Gordon <laughs> Just the tails, as if it makes it better. <laughs> Literally, what I'm well, at least, But at least she's not eating like the heart yeah. and the eyes and like the skull. And the, you know. I mean, don't they grow back? Yeah. Ew. She's just Still. giving a tail cut. And I don't think she actually eats it. I think she just tries to catch them, and the tails just kind of break away, though. You know. Mm. I don't know. I <laughs> no, I, do. I don't I like it. <laughs> Wait till the lizards come out. Oh, Marco Polo, check oh it my out, guys. Gosh. No. <laughs> We're going to go lizard hunting in Vegas when you guys come. <laughs> Count me out. I think three different, yeah, literally, no same. I think three different kinds of cicadas are supposed to hatch the same time this year. Oh my God. There's gosh. more than one? Mm -hmm. Like, ew, why? I hate it. Yeah. They're so bad. I hate bugs. Them. They're just loud. That's why I don't like them. Yeah. It reminds me of anime, though, every time I hear them, because in every anime, there's like cicadas in the background at some point. So I kind of like it for that, but like that's it. It gets really loud here because I'm right here on the water, though, you know? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. It gets really loud. That would get kind of annoying. Yeah. Earplugs. Jesse taking the bow off again. It's about to be bows and clips. Oh. Her books are not get clipped. <laughs> I thought she said most books are wrong. <laughs> I mean, you know, you never know where this is going, y'all. <laughs> the wild group tonight. <laughs> only day one. <laughs> We're all going to be blocked by Jesse. Yes. True. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's the only thing we can agree on. It's not the same one. Yeah, we're trying to make it positive. <laughs> I know. Come on now. <laughs> I've only it's read Cross Country Christmas, but I really liked it. Every time y'all say something about Ramsey, I just hear him calling someone a donut. 
I haven't really watched Hell's Kitchen, so I don't like know his like catchphrases and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Gwen is gonna send me part of your world as a book exchange. <laughs> You've got yeah. homework. Yeah. You need to reread it. Linus <laughs> Roman Empire is Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> True. True. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just getting started. They hatch every 13 years, so the batches are converging this year. I love that we have like tea on books, bugs. <laughs> And then, like, the cute bows and stuff. <laughs> it's, like, the most weird matchup of me. And Gordon Ramsay. And then Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Courtney Walsh. <laughs> I like to flick the remains off trees. Yeah. Are you the shells? The shells, yeah. I used to so love gross. those as a kid. I, would Bet, I think you need a new hobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> the two I know are 17 year and 7 year. I'm 68. This will be my fourth cycle of the 17 year bugs. <sighs> Absolutely not. I'm just going to stay in my house while that happens. <laughs> I need a boyfriend. <laughs> Even if I to say, she knows a lot about bugs. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of bug knowledge. <laughs> well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> You brought it up. Like the bug bodies. They're so Yeah, the shells. These are eggs. Yeah. It grows. It freaks me out that they like shed. Like that just is like a. No. a yeah, just like snakes. Yeah. Yeah, everybody they loves snakes. Like an animal, though. <laughs> I don't mind snakes. Way less creepy. <laughs> yeah, I think and stick them terrible. on people and freak them out. <laughs> you guys had very oh. different childhoods than me. <laughs> yeah, they were everywhere when I grew up. So I yeah, really no, absolutely not. <laughs> All right, well, we should start another sprint. And I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll just have this one be the last sprint too, since we've been okay. like, talking about yeah. some stuff. Uh, I'm thinking maybe let's read until like 45. Does yeah. that sound okay? Cool. We'll just do kind Sounds of a longer good. one. All right.
All right, so that's the last sprint. Um, I made it quite a bit farther in my book. Um, I'm on page 67, so I'll definitely finish it tonight. But it's going really good so far. Um, it has different sections to it. So I think the first section is like about feminism and being a woman. And the second section is about like marriage. And then the third section so far has been about like motherhood. Um, and I'm loving it. There's so much good stuff in here. Like I've been taking clips for my vlog every single time there's like a poem that I like. And I'm just like, there's so many clips that are going to be in this video. So I'm having a really great time. Um, how did everybody else do though? Jordan, how are you liking Bunny? Good. I made it to page 70. So, I mean, it's definitely gotten weird, but not like I have any idea what what it's going to be. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be. Like, it's kind of confusing. It's not unhinged yet. It's not unhinged. Yeah. It's, yeah. No, it's a little like. It'll get there. Don't worry. Steamy, spicy, I guess, but not, not weird and like what's happening. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see. I know it's separated into parts. Have you... So maybe I'm. Have, Have I... you been to the smut salon yet? Yes. She went one time okay. pretty early on. Um, yeah. So she had a weird thing with a mm -hmm. bunny, but like, I'm not really sure. <laughs> not really sure. What I'm that so is. excited. You, you have to keep updating the group chat or something. Cause I, I want to know your thoughts <laughs> as you're reading. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're like liking it. Okay. So far though. That's good. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. The rest of it is just seemingly normal. So it's not hard to follow or anything. Yeah. It's pretty slow. Yeah. Gwen, how about you? Um, so far so good. I'm on page 82. So I almost made it to chapter 12. Um, nice. interested what Keisha thinks. Well, I didn't read any more of it that time because I switched. So <laughs> I haven't been asked. <laughs> but are you liking it though? Um, it's okay. I will say I'm not like five star loving it. There's just something that feels a little detached a little bit like we were talking See, and about. that's where i'm gonna i need fleshed out i need to know these characters i need dual pov like yeah it's not dual pov i mean it's definitely having like i'm having like little like giggly moments like, yeah. like oh that's funny or um stuff like that and i really like uh levi um i mean so far it's fine you know but I'm not like grit. Yeah. You're not making me any more interested in continuing <laughs> saying that. <laughs> what? What made you guys pick that in the first? Did you both just own it or like what? We both kind of bought radar? it around the same time. Yeah. And then. So I. I don't know who had it first, but. Jordan um, from Bookish Gem read it and she gave it four stars and she was posting quotes from it on Instagram and that's what made me want to pick it up. Gotcha. Yeah. And I had just heard it and I, I do love the cover. And then I think we realized we both had it and she said, I'm thinking about reading it for Bozen books. And I was like, okay, I'll read it for Bozen books <laughs> then. <laughs> um, I mean, I think it's cute. I think it has potential. I think it's just like setting up things. It's always a little bit like we don't know too much about their past. We know that basically they had this really great friendship but we're basically just told that they don't have time to really build that friendship. For I us, hate you know. being told Aww. and I'm not told. But, but because that's yeah. not what the story's about. So, well, I mean, I understand it. I mean, I want there, I want to understand it and maybe it will give us pieces as we're reading. But that is one thing that I hate is because like you really need to know their past connection and it doesn't give you that because it's really jumping into now. Yeah. We knew each other in the past. Mm -hmm. And now we're bumping into each other and we're fake dating and this yeah. is our, you know, where they're going to fall in love it's, or whatever. It's so got, I get that. It's got 2,761 ratings on Goodreads and a 4.02 average star rating. Yeah. I, I mean, I could see myself mm -hmm. giving it a four star, but I don't see myself like right now. Yeah. I don't see myself giving it a five star, but that could totally change. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Jesse, how about you? Um, I made it to 34% chapter 14. And if anyone is reading the physical copy, it's, um, like in the 110 page section. 
So I'm really liking it. It's it's very sweet. Um, like, I don't know. Like, I like, it's like fake dating, but like not really fake dating. I don't know. It's, it's really cute, though. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like the sweet, innocent meets the bad boy bodyguard. <laughs> so... Yeah, I know, for sure. I'm really liking it. Like, I'm, I'm jiving with this one a lot more than when in Rome, which I know I gave four stars when, but <laughs> I can see this being <laughs> a really high four stars or maybe a five. I don't know. But I'm really liking it. Wow. Nice. How about you, Keisha? You switched to your graphic novel that time? Uh, I had messaged Gwen and I was like, at least we agree on this. Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> This was a one star. I don't ever give out one stars. We bought it together in Nashville. Mm -hmm. oh, Let me just no. tell you. There's nothing here. Like somebody had an idea and never fleshed it out. That's it. Like there's nothing. It was disappointing. It was rushed. It was. Not I didn't understand time. who the characters were. I didn't understand what time period we were in. I didn't understand what was happening. Like it's it was just. just Oh, it's just no. meant. Like, I mean, it's not even. I was like, do I give this a two? And I'm like, no, I just didn't like it. Like, there was no story here. It was just really random. Mm -hmm. So, do not recommend. <laughs> Dang. And the art That's wasn't so even so that great right either. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So. Well, I won't be picking that one up. <laughs> mm -hmm. At least oh, you knocked it out. Yeah. It's like one says, if you're at least you're like reading it and getting it off of your at CDR, least it goes towards so. my Goodreads goal. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. This is where I left off. The sheds. Oh, absolutely not. Back to the bugs. <laughs> this is so weird because I hear them, but I've literally never seen one. Um and Lindsay lives in the same place that I used to live. And I only ever saw some when I would go and visit Travis at work. And it was kind of like out in the middle of, not middle of nowhere, but like kind of on the outskirts of town. And they would freak me out so bad because they like just look creepy to me. But so maybe it's like I always hear them, but I didn't really see them very often in the town we live in, which is weird. Only been talking 53 minutes. <laughs> I love it, though. Same, I tend to stay indoors. Pets love cicadas. Do not let them eat more than a couple each day. What? My in -laws My cats will be eating zero. <laughs> My in-laws dogs dig for them and eat them, like when they're still on the ground. Ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is so weird to me. Gross. Yeah. Uh -uh. You should be a biology teacher. Yeah, really though. Coming in with the facts. <laughs> my hubby wants to watch a movie i'm signing off for the night good night friends i'm sure she's gone but thank you so much for joining <laughs> oh what a hell to know was oh my gosh <sighs> i didn't even remember what book i was reading it's been that long <laughs> Literally, though, Yvette, I love your comments so much. Very nice. Got 30 more pages read. Very nice. Read 40 pages. Like the then portions. I like the then portions, but the now, it's too close to cheating. Keisha? I honestly <laughs> forgot what Yvette was reading. Does anybody remember? I remember. That's why I'm laughing. But we don't need to talk about why I'm laughing. <laughs> wait. No, wait. What is she reading? I feel like Love I feel like all I can think of is Abby Jimenez stuff now. Okay, yeah. Oh. Okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Right. Yeah, I just, I won't, I won't, I won't be negative about stuff. Um, I started a cute, cozy spring mystery by a local author that I met. Spring Blooms and Murder. I got to page 38. Nice. That's cool that you have, like, a local author near you. I have to keep repeating in my head as I read. These are consenting adults, but also it feels like I should call the police straight to jail. <laughs> Absolutely. She's reading Zodiac Academy, and that is definitely... It goes there. Yeah. 
that's definitely like it's a guilty pleasure read i just like i try not to have any opinions about it and i'm just going with the flow <laughs> listening to jordan talk about this muscle on <laughs> i pulled out the q-tips because i wasn't sure i heard that right <laughs> what? i just uh i just bought the picking daisies book too great <laughs> No, I think it's good, you guys. I'm just saying it's not like initially gripping, you know? It's hard to explain. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'll still give it a try, even if you guys don't love it. You know? Yeah, the general consensus of people like it. So Yeah, it has good ratings, like yeah. Yeah. Said. Mm -hmm. yeah. My phone's about to die. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for sprints. getting much more reading done and y'all are fantastic to watch <laughs> the back talk is great but of course the interactions the banter is so fun i agree these have been really fun sprints i love that we are going off like on tangents and stuff and like being spicy with each other <laughs> i loved practice makes perfect yeah super cute I'm so late to these sprints, but I'll probably watch the replay and sprint myself another night. Thank you, ladies. It's always nice to see your beautiful faces. You're so nice. I hope that you enjoy watching them back later. It's something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, cicadas. <laughs> Kisha's 2024 song. theme song, Another One Bites the Dust. <laughs> it's, it's a tough year, y'all, but I've had some five stars. It's okay. I just got to hone in on, I've just got to be picky, I guess. I don't know, which yeah. I hate. because you know, I feel like. Well, I feel like this is the year of you just kind of like figuring out what you like and what you don't like. And oh, I was doing that last year. Now like, I'm like 180. I don't know. But also, you just be like more decisive with stuff like, I don't like this. You're going to try to DNF stuff. Like, I think it's good. Uh, page 101 in My Lucky Charm. Super cute so far. Fast read, funny. I keep smiling and chuckling as I picture the characters and their interactions so far. That's awesome. So good. Love, in other words, is probably my least favorite romance I've read. Yeah, it's not one of my faves. <laughs> Keisha probably loves all of the now portions. I like those closet <laughs> scenes. Surprisingly, the closet scenes, I like those. <laughs> the closet scenes like, were awesome. They were cute. They were cute. I mean, there were some cringe moments, but... <laughs> Yeah. They were cute. It was I mean, cute, though. Like, I was like, they're safe space together. Like, I did like that. Um, I didn't like Love in Other Words for the reasons he is talking about. I could see that. Got to chapter 17, and it's too much spice. I probably won't get a rating yeah. from me, sadly. That's too bad. I just prefer the slow burn. That's fair. I got distracted that sprint, but I did manage to get 15 pages done. Gonna head to bed. Thanks for the sprints, ladies. Sleep sweet. Thank you for joining. I'm definitely adding Phony Valentine and My Lucky Charm to my immediate TBR. I have two of her books on that galley too. That's awesome. I definitely want to read them because of you, Keisha. Like, because you've loved them so much. And then Hannah loving it too. I feel like it's hard to not like her books. So. They're just sweet and cute. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, just, yeah. you know, feel good stuff. Yeah. Let's call this Bows and Brawls <laughs> Readathon next year. <laughs> Reading prompt hate. <laughs> hate read a book by your least favorite romance author. <laughs> I'll feel so I love it. I love Because everybody will read Abby Jimenez and I'll be like, but you're hate reading it. <laughs> You'll be like, I need to go off social media for this whole entire week. <laughs> they might change their minds. <laughs> I will not co-host sure. that year if that becomes the case. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Well, thank you so much for sprinting with me, guys. This has been so fun. It's been a very yeah. funny reading sprint. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, they were fun. Uh, yeah. Fun. We're going to, yeah. We're going to do these again on Sunday at the same time uh, to kind of like end cap the readathon. But, um. I'll keep be, I'll keep reposting and liking everybody's posts on Instagram and stuff. So um, you can keep up with the photo prompts there. And um, later on, I'm going to go back and link all of these ladies in the description too. So you can go follow them everywhere. But thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you on Sunday. Bye. Bye. Bye.